without the initial decision uh, from uh, emphasizing that a phrase nomination form did not meet the stipulated criteria. A central point of contention was the number of supporting members listed on a free nomination form while a free claimed to have secured support from six ghana fa members and the appeals committee determined that only five members had actually provided statutory declarations supporting his candidacy moreover the committee found issues with the endorsement from victory club or warriors fc uh, as uh, the individual signing on behalf of the club was not a duly authorized signatory that is jeffrey Asari. Well, with the current disqualification, it means that the GFA presidential race, which was expected to feature two candidates, Georgia Free and the incumbent Keto Kroko, now appears likely to proceed with Okraku running on a post. However, the lingering court injunction filed by Ken Faisal adds an additional layer of uncertainty to the election proceedings. Now, Georgia Free may well turn to the court of arbitration for sport or any higher judicial body for a final attempt to contesting the presidential elections well it's getting much more serious and much more dicey when it comes to the ghana football association elections well let's move away from that and the welfare of players in ghana has come under the microscope in recent weeks after it emerged the Lagos cities have not paid their players for months ghana's football economy does not augur well for clubs to be able to meet the demands of players in the country the clubs are unable to provide certain basic services such as decent accommodation good wages proper infrastructure including good training pitches and facilities as ghana defender and now football coach john pencil believes that the contract a better contract is the only solution to this problem he spoke to us on sports ultras yeah just now with the player if you don't have it or oh, the player needs accommodation you have to also put it inside that okay, I'm giving accommodation, I'm giving a place to sleep, but I can offer you this every month on top of that. Because we have some local players who don't even have a place to stay. They are on salary like a thousand cities, five hundred cities. But where they sleep, the club don't know. See, so it's some of the things that players can put it inside their contract at the club looking for a place for you to stay. And of course, some clubs also have uh, accommodation for players who are playing for, for the club. So it's a, it's a whole lot that needs to be done, uh, especially when it comes to contract uh, the players and then the, and the club. Because there's, there's something that um, uh, FIFA is very, very uh, serious about the players' welfare. And that is why GFAG is there to also uh, control and then teach the, the young players who don't know how to be more professional, how to take good care of yourself. Because you thinking that you, you you are doing the club, you'll be doing yourself. Like I make example for like how you behave in the football club is how they will feed you. If you are professional, you are doing well, you are respecting the code of honor in the club. Even when you go wrong, the club will bring you back in and treat you well. So that is from former Black Stars defender John Pinsel. Now, despite dropping points on match week one against uh, Ritten, he's Pando Heart of Lions. As Antico Toko SC head coach Dr. Prosper Nateogum believes that his side will only get better in subsequent games. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm satisfied because um, uh, we have a blend of new and old players trying to get the game model going. So, uh, to me, what I saw today is good of individual players, yeah. but then we can do better. I mean, it's good, better, best. So what I saw was good. I'm okay with it. I don't, I don't have any doubt about this team that as the league progresses, we'll get better uh, in offensive and defense. We'll create more chances and we can win games. So I'm very confident in this team. Well, his confidence is high. Likewise, hats of folk head coach as uh, Martinos and Dricos Copeman. They lost to RTU in the match week one by a lone goal to nil. He believes that his side is very young and they are still learning. Uh, last last uh, um, season, it was, I think, in the league uh, number 12, I think. And uh, so we have a young team, a lot of new players. I came in five weeks ago. Uh, so uh, now I learned a little bit the players uh, to know how to play in Rafa's system. And uh, I think um, in the future and I hopefully next week we'll uh, make a step forward to, to take the three points uh, in our house. 
So that is from Heart to Folk coach uh, Martinez Koopman uh, speaking about Heart to Folk and what they need to do to win their subsequent games. Now, Southampton manager Russell Martin has confirmed that the Saints have successfully appealed the red card shown to Kamaldin Suleimani against Leicester on Friday night. Making his final appearance, making his first appearance of the season, the Ghana International was shown a straight red card deep into stoppage time for a challenge on James Justin, which has now been overturned following an appeal. He is valid for Leicester City's game this evening. So, come out, Dean Suleimana, if you are looking out for him this evening in the championship against Ipswich Town at 6.45, he can be selected for that particular game. Now to the UEFA Champions League. Now, matches coming up this evening here at 6.45. AC Milan play against Newcastle United at the San Siro. Well, there have been talks about Fikayo Tomori, but let's go through the fixtures before young boys from Switzerland welcome RB Leipzig. And at 7 p.m., Lazio will host Atletico Madrid. Uh, Celtic from Scotland will be guests to final Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Manchester City play against Resta Belgrade from Serbia. Barcelona from Spain against Royal Antwerp from Belgium. And then they Shakhtar Donetsk from Ukraine welcoming FC Porto from Portugal and Borussia Dortmund will travel from Germany to play against Paris Saint-Germain in France. Let's have a quick listen to AC Milan's Vicario Tomori who has discussed facing his former teammate Sandro Tonali who plays for Newcastle. Um, to see Sandro again um, is going to be nice. Um, you know, we we played a lot of games together. Um, obviously, won a Scudetto together. So, yeah, it's going to be nice to see him again, um, especially so soon. Um, but, you know, I think, uh, you know, us as a team and him prof um, personally, um, we're professionals. And, you know, once we once we get on the pitch tomorrow, you know, I guess that, that friendship or that companionship is, you know, put to the side. And, you know, both of us are going to try and win the game. Um, and, yeah, uh, you know, after the game, we can talk again. But, um, yeah, um, we're just focused on ourselves, focused on the game, focused on trying to win. And then, um, yeah, after the game, uh, we can talk again. After the game, they can talk, but Sandro Tonali himself hasn't had it easy since moving from AC Milan to the Premier League. He's admitted he struggled to adapt to life at the Magpies when he joined from Milan, but is now feeling more settled at the club. Thanks to the help of Mr. Ho and thanks to the whole staff, I was I started to be happier. Help me out. They helped helped me out in my personal life and in my professional life on the pitch. My teammates have been amazing. They are all helping me a lot, especially with the language. At the beginning, that was very very difficult understanding the others and communicating with the others. And then in the pitch, everything changes when you switch from uh, the Italian Championship to the Premier League. So at the beginning I was a kind of lost uh, and I received so much help by everybody and under every aspect, language, sports, uh, tactic and so on and so forth. Well, so that is from Sandro Tonali now to Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola and he's admitted it will be very difficult for Manchester City to win back-to-back -back UEFA Champions League titles, but they are going to do their best to get to the very top. We are going to play this competition thinking how nice we were, how nice it is to win. Okay, we'll have it. Yes, there, belong to us. But okay, competition gives us a new challenge. Go for it. Try it. At least try it. And I'm not having it out. We're going to try. That means, like I said, just Madrid or maybe when a Rigo sack, sack period with a, you know, with a, with a, with Milan, his exceptional Milan, did it in a row. So the rest of the teams, I, I was incredible proud to be manager of Barcelona team in that period we won two times in four years the Champions League but we didn't win it in a row so it's so difficult but okay just just try it you know be ourselves and if we are able okay if we are not able to do it like the previous six seasons together qualify for the next season and try it again Pep Guardiola there on the UEFA Champions League. Now let's drop to the English Premier League. And yesterday, the final game for match week five was played. Callum hudson Odoi scoring a glorious equalizer for his side, Nottingham Forest, uh, as they settled for a 1 0 draw against Burnley. The Clary took control of the game uh, by getting the signing of hudson Odoi on deadline day. But Burnley took the first half lead through Zeki at Moni's well taking shot into the bottom corner after a fine work by the lively teenager Luca Colesio, Burnley manager Vincent Company after the game. But the biggest thing for me is 
I think at the moment, th this is roughly our level and that's fine. But I think that the exciting bit is that there's so much more growth in this team. And that's what I want to keep focusing on, making sure that from this level, we go to the next level. It's not going to happen within the game. Uh, but if it's six months, it's six months. And that's still, that's still something to look forward to. So that is from Vincent Company speaking about what he needs to do to get his team at top level in the Premier League. Now, former Arsenal forward Theo Walcott has praised the importance of Leandro Trossard in Arsenal's team while he speaks on the importance and the brilliance of the Belgian international as um, Gabriel Martinelli is expected to stay out of Arsenal's games in the next couple of days. Today, and we don't know how long Gabriel's going to be out for now. Um, and of course, when your manager calls on you, you need to be able to repay him and stay in the team. Goes on about he's enjoying it. I'm sure he'll be enjoying it more if he's in the starting lineup. Pretty, much, I'm pretty sure of that. But he's given himself, a, you know, a good sort of headache now for the manager to, to play him a bit more often because I felt he felt very comfortable out there. He's very sort of positive, which I like to see in, in forward play. So uh, and the finish as well was just brilliant. You know, it was, yeah. Uh, so that is from former Arsenal forward Theo Walcott. Now Thomas Frank, uh, Brentford's manager, has given high praise for striker Ivan Tony, who is currently suspended from all football-related activities in England for his engagement in Burton. He's spoken about what makes him such an impressive striker and will take millions, yes, hundreds of millions, to let him go as uh, the striker for Brentford. Well, many would have to overpay for him, according to Thomas Frank. As a striker number nine, I don't see many out there that is better uh, in the world than him. Of course, we have the uh, Kane, Lewandowski, uh, Holland and these types, but not many. He's got 20 goals in the Premier League last year. And of course, a very good Brentford side. <laughs> but of course, we are not creating as many chances as the, the top six, seven uh, teams. So imagine him in the top team, easily score 20, 25 goals for me. I think he's composed, I think he's a good finisher, a top mentality, so I understand why clubs are looking at him. But he's a Brentford player now, and if people want to come, and with today's market, the, the, the price is for number six position players, and we all know that goal scorers or attackers are the most expensive one. Well, now Everton have received a loan payment worth tens of millions of pounds from potential new owners 777 partners. On Friday, the Miami-based investment firm agreed a deal to buy current owner Fahad Moshiri's 94% stake in the club. The amount received by Everton is not known but will help with the club's short-term working capital and the new stadium that is being built on the Bramley Moor Dock. So that is it there for Everton and uh, to some women football and Spain's women football team, the players have reiterated that they are boycotting the women's national side despite being called up to the latest squad. 15 members of the team that won the World Cup last month have been included in the squad for upcoming Nations League fixtures. A group of 81 players boycotted the national team after then Spanish FA boss Luis Rubiales cast forward Jenny and also following last month's final. The fallout led to Rubiales resigning. Now the players are not ready to represent the national team again. Finish of Western Formula One news and Mercedes boss Toto Wolf will be absent from this weekend's Japanese Formula One Grand Prix as he undergoes a knee surgery. The 51 year old is set to have an operation in his native Austria to restore the anterior crucial ligament in his left leg. Wolf damaged his knee a number of years ago and blamed it for a cycling accident during Formula One summer break, which left him with a fractured elbow that will be all for sport this morning here on sunrise on 3fm 92.7 my name is kelvin also but let's give thanks to mega six lot to six numbers can change your life what would you do if you want 1 million ghana cds today with only 49 numbers to choose from mega six loto is offering you the chance to win exciting prizes don't forget to play before 5 p.m every monday wednesday and friday dial star 260 hash or download the iOS and Android apps on mega6loto.com to play. Mega6 Loto is approved and regulated by the National Lottery Authority. Have a brilliant morning. DJ BM, as always, is here to serve you with some fine tunes before the rest of the team take charge. Have a good day.